I want to show them. Okay, here's my mounting bolts. It's secured to the frame with nuts and bolts with my bracket. And my bracket is secured to my platform base with no loose or missing bolts. And it is adjusted properly so I don't hit my landing gear in my turns. My release arm's in the lock position. And then right here, my fifth wheel. It's prop degrees and the pins are in place. Now let's go up front here. Now, my glad hands with the rubber seals, they got full contact and they do not leak. My electrical is seated in a, and the safety latch is locked. It's secure. Now my air and electrical lines, my air lines not worn, torn, or frayed. They're not kinked and they do not leak. My electrical line, it ain't cut, spliced, taped, and no bare wires, and they're not rubbing on my catwalk. Okay, and then he's going to say, okay, now I want you to do an external light check with your engine start, your end cab, and your air brake test. Do you have any questions? You're going to guess. Will you assist me in my light check on my tractor and trailer? So you go back here while I'm getting in here. Yeah. Good. Yeah, I'm both you good. Good. Yeah. Good. Yeah, that's good too. Alright, now we can assess me in the front. There's my headlights. My bright lights. My left indicator. Okay, I did my three-point entry. Let, let him. I did my three-point entry. Now I'm going to check my seat belt. It ain't worn, torn, or frayed, and it securely latches. Okay. Now I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to do a safe start. Make sure my brakes are set, neutral, clutch in, fire her up. Okay, since I got air already get pressured up, I'm going to go ahead and release my brakes. And while they're finished pressuring up, I'm going to start with my mirror here. My mirror. It's secure with nuts and bolts. It's clean, not cracked or broken. And it's properly adjusted. Now I'll show them how my window rolls up and down. And it's clean. Now I'm going to come around here and get my horns. City. Air horns. Now while I'm here, I'm going to go ahead and talk about my windshield. And it cracked, broken, no obstruction on my view, it's clean, the seal's intact, and it does not leak. While I'm there, I'm going to go ahead and talk about my wipers. I got full contact. They operate properly, and I have my windshield cleaner. After that, I'm going to go with my defroster show them that my defroster is working properly. Right? Turn it on. On heat. Start her up. Okay? Right there I felt it. Now I'm going to check my vents and the bottom. Okay, they're working here. And they're working down 
here, yes. Now I'm gonna go ahead and shut that off. Now I'm gonna go ahead and do all my lights. Turn them on. Okay, and right here, I turn this, this is my panel light so I can see at night when I'm driving. I got a left indicator. Mercy flashes. My right indicator. My bright lights indicator working properly. Okay, that I did all my lights now. Now I'm gonna to go to my gauges. I'm gonna tell you my uh, water temp. It's 165 and 20 is 185. My air is 120 to 140. I had 20 and made it 40. Then I got take the zeros off that and I got 12 to 14 on my votes. And my oil pressure is 35 at 220 is 75. Now I'm through with that. Now I'm gonna go ahead and do my uh, brake test. Okay? So I'm gonna triple check, make sure they're released. Now I'll turn on my Stop watch. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and kill it now. Then I'm gonna turn my key back on. Okay, and as you can see right here, my ABS light came on and it went back off, so I know what's working properly. Now I'm gonna do my initial drop. My initial drop is right here. Now I'm gonna start it. It should not take more. I'm gonna hold at least 90 pounds of pressure for one minute and I should not lose no more than four PSI in that one minute. Good day to get a CDL, isn't it? Yeah. Try and go over about one or two seconds. That way, because he might have started his later than you did, okay. then they could t he could fail you if you're at 59 seconds or less. Okay. So make sure after you do it, go about two seconds over and then show it to him. Okay. To the person who's ever testing you. Okay. All right, right. Okay, right now. Okay, stop it. Okay, I did not lose no more than four PSI, and it's been one minute and two seconds. Okay, now I'm gonna reset that and hold that here. Now I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna start pumping my brakes. That was my L, now I'm doing my W, which is my warning light. I'm gonna pump my brakes, and my warning light should come on before 60. Okay, right here, my warning light came on. And they lit up here. Now I'm gonna keep pumping them down and my protection valves are gonna pop out between 40 and 20. Okay. Okay, right, boom. Okay, they both popped out. Now I don't have no air pressure, right? So I gotta do a pressure buildup with the parking brake. So we're in neutral, right? We clutch. Make sure they're both popped out. Fire this bad boy up. And why it's pressuring up? It says normal operating is when you're going down the highway. Okay? So what we're gonna do is get your RPMs around 13 to 15. And then when our air pressure gauge gets around 85, we're gonna time it. And it should not take more than 45 seconds to get to a hunter. See how that primary is already up? Well, our warning lights are still coming on, so we're gonna to have to wait on a secondary to get caught up, okay?
right there. I started in 85. And stop right there. Okay. Didn't take no more than 45 seconds to get there. Okay, that's all that I gotta do now. Now, let's go. Alright. You hear my air cut off. Now I'm gonna do a, my parking and my mercy brake test. I'm gonna try my uh, tractor first. Okay? Release my trailer, put in first gear. And I'm going to pull on it. Okay, it held. Now I'm going to set my trailer brake and release my parking brake. And see if my trailer holds. Okay, it held. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to release them both. But I'm going to back up for a second so I can get more room to do the service brake test. I'm going to put it in third gear. I'm going to get up to five miles an hour. I'm going to clutch and brake and barely let go of the wheel and make sure it don't pull left or right. If it did, 